Hello everybody, welcome to this Milkshake Zombie tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go over how to compile a model for source from Blender with uh, a level of detail model in it. This is more for my benefit than anyone else because I, I keep forgetting how to do it, but I'm going to go through step by step all the all the problems and stuff that I've come, apart, come across. <coughs> Alright, well first of all, we're in Blender. This is my, uh, well the model I'm using probably don't really need a, a LOD model for it, but this is my model. It's uh, it's 48 faces, it's just some a stalactite or something. Um, and then this is my LOD model, which is going to change to. It's only 24 faces, so really a, lot of, a model with 48 faces you don't have to do a LOD model for, but I'm a stickler for optimization. Um, so yeah, that's it in Blender. Uh, and I'm going to use this model as my LOD model. So, and in here in the sidebar here, I've got the uh, item thingy. I've named it LOD1. Name whatever you want, that's what I name it. Uh, and then on this one, I've got this as ref for reference. And then that's oh, that's my physics model, so I've named it PHI. Uh, very important thing you do with this, which is what stumped me for a very long time. Maybe I'm an idiot, but uh, you got to set them all to the same material. I've just left this material, you can name it whatever you want, as long as your LOD model and your reference model share the same material in Blender. You can change it later and I'll show you how to do that, but for now, if they're in Blender, you want them to have the exact same material, otherwise it will not work. Alright, so we're going to use our exporter thing here, which is fantastic and I love it. Um, I've got LOD1, physics and reference all uh, ready, so scene is configured and it exports it. Uh, now we go in here, we've exported it and I've already written up a QC file, which I'll drag onto the screen. Hold on, I'll just open it twice. Yeah, so here we go, that's nice and big so you can see it. This is just uh, without LOD, the LOD settings, so you just sort of normal one, model name, where it's going, and materials, where the materials are, static prop, it's a static prop, um, body, name, uh, where it's coming from, sequence, and collision model. Uh, I haven't got the LOD details in here yet. I'm going to make this LOD25, so that's all it is, command LOD25, and then you've got to set some parameters. With the, um, with the number there, 25, it depends on, it depends on the model and, and all your kind of stuff. There's really, I don't really know exactly how that system works, but the bigger the number, the further away it's going to be when it pops in. So you're going to want to um, get, you well when you compile it, you want to test it out in Half-Life Model Viewer to see how it goes. But for now, 25 is what I'm doing. And then open curly brackets. And I'm going to, oh, the next command has to be replace model. Um, and then... It's the SMD files that you've exported from Blender that you're using here, not not a compiled model. So you have to use here. I'm going to use ref because that's ref.smd. To make it a little bit simple, all you need to write is ref and then LOD1. But to make it a bit simple, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to go ref.smd and then LOD1.smd. And that's it. Press enter. Close the curly brackets. Make sure you make sure you open and close those curly brackets. So, so now we've got the LOD command, 25, which is the distance it's going to pop in at. Open curly brackets, replace model, the uh, SMD file you exported from Blender of the detailed model, and then the SMD file you exported from Blender of the LOD model. That's as simple as I can make it. If you want to make more, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure you have to go. Like you do another LOD and you make it a bigger number so it's further away, so LOD 50 and then open up curly brackets and um, replace model again and I'm pretty sure you have to uh, put in the reference detailed model even though it's going to be changing from LOD 1 to the next one which will be LOD 2 even though it'll be changing from LOD 1 you have to say ref because I don't know because source is a dickhead, but yeah. So and then and have to close the curly brackets too. But I'm not going to do that for this one. Get rid of that because I've only got one level of distance here. But just remember that, and you might have to play around with that a little bit. The important thing is these share the same 
material because you can't change the material in here. Oh, so anyway, we've got that. We've got that there. Um, save that, and I've got this. This is my um, batch file. Um, this is my batch file. I've got that compiles it. This you can find this all over the place. So you put your username in there. Use a random if you really want to. Put your username in there. Um, wherever your Steam, wherever your um, studio model is, percent one pause. That's um. I'm pretty sure that's on the developer site somewhere, but that helps. No, I don't want to save it. So anyway, I'm going to drag my QC file onto my uh, batch file, and I've got that's nothing to do with this. That's just Fong that I've messed around with. So don't worry about that. As there's no real, no other um, errors in there, which is cool. So it's a good thing. Get out of that. And now we'll go into SDK uh, model viewer. Uh, now we can see. I hope this worked. I really do. Stalactite. Oh, yeah, I've got it in the wrong one. That is. Never mind me. So there we go. That's the stalactite model in there. Um, if you go out here to model, you can see you've got auto lod down here on the, in the model tab. Click on auto lod, and you can zoom in and out, and see it popped in. There you go. So, and you can see down here as well, poly count 42, because it's triangles now, not quads, blender is in triangles. And if you zoom back in, it pops up to 88. So, you can see that's working, that's, that's working fine. And you want to, you, you really want to try and have a look at it and make sure it's not popping in too much. See, that, that could go with a little bit of fiddling around. Um, but you don't want to have to put too much effort into a LOD model. The idea is, I'll probably actually change that to something more along the lines of maybe 40 or something. So then you, it's you know nice and far away, and I'll be able to see it. I'll change it to one too because it's number one. Put that in there. All right, no errors other than my little phone thing. And now yeah, we'll load that up. Well, something's going wrong. Right, there we go. So you can see auto lods on. You zoom all the way out and see that pops in. A bit further out now. If you want to manually have a look, if you want to get up close and have a look, um, you can go turn off auto lod and then in here you can switch between the lods on the little drop down box there. So, um, oh yeah, also troubleshooting because you always got to troubleshoot with source. If you go into your SMD file, open up in a text um, editor, you'll see here this is my physics model, and because in Blender, if we go over to my physics layer, in Blender you'll see I haven't set a material for it so it just defaults to the name of the mesh which is Phi for physics um, and so my physics SMD has Phi here because that's the material now if I was to go into my reference one you can see it says material there if your lot isn't working and you don't know why and, and you might not have put the same material on then you can go into your SMD file that's the QC file. See, and that's got materials. That's my lot as well. But if you go, if if it says a different one there, then you can just Control H, find material, replace with stuff, and go replace all, and it'll replace them all for you. There you go, basic stuff. Um, I don't want to save that. But yeah, that's how, that's how you change it. And if the problem you'll see with that is if you don't if you don't make that the same material. Actually, let's just do it. I'll just show you how it goes. Um, Lot one, Control H. Spell it right. All right. Uh, now that's not what I want. That one. Now I'll compile it again. And now, if you'll see, you'll put it on auto lot, and as I zoom out. It'll just disappear. See that? It's because it can't find the same material, and it's not gonna try. It's not gonna come up with that purple splotchy stuff because it, it's not registering at all. So if you get that problem, that's what it is. You got to change your materials. Oh, great. I'm just gonna fix that up. I wonder if 
that's case sensitive. And now, oh, not case sensitive. There you go. So it doesn't have to be capitals or whatever. Uh, I think that's it, really. That's um, yeah. I think that's that's the only real problem I've had. As long as you get the QC replace model, you don't you don't need this either. You can get rid of that once you. No, I just don't like to have it there. So you just got to replace model ref mod one. Save that. up to here and just dollars lod how far away you want it to be or whatever that number also with this number you can see down here lod metric that tells you where it is if you watch that there's my lod switch and as I zoom in that comes down and then when it goes to 40 pop pops in and out so if you're wondering how far out you want to be that's just the number you watch down there uh, and I think that's it this is yeah so thanks for watching milkshake zombie tutorial good on you go and make lots of optimized models